Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Albus Dumbledore from Harry Potter. So let's get started. To draw Dumbledore, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. So they're not going to be very big eyes. <laughs> so just a small circle. And I'm going to come right across, about right here, and draw another circle. From there, I'm just going to come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So thank you for all your love for all my Harry Potter drawings. Definitely please check them on my Harry Potter playlist if you love Harry Potter. Okay, so I have the eyes in. So then from there, we're going to come into the center area and we're going to draw a slight curve right on the bottom edge. So about right here, just a slight curve for his nose. And then from this little curve right here, we're going to come out about right here and draw a line connecting it right under the eye. So touching the eye, so same thing over here. Just go right under the eye and come out. So that's going to be the beginnings of his glasses. So from there, I'm going to come to this edge right here and create a curve, come back up. So same thing right here. Create this curve for the glasses and up. So I'm just going to come in here and thicken this up a little bit for the glasses. And same thing here. And here on the bridge. Okay, so then from there, underneath this curve, we're going to draw another curve, and this is going to be his nose. So right in the bottom right here, create another curve. And from that curve, we're going to come under right here, on this edge right here, and just draw a curve that comes out. So this is going to be the beginning of his mustache, his beard. And then right under this curve, <laughs> another layer, we're going to come and draw a curve going the other way. So then from this, we're going to bring it down. So we're just starting to create his beard. Bring it down. And say about right here, I'm just going to imagine it come about right here. I'll just draw a curve. And then inside, just very slightly draw another curve for his mouth. Just an indication of his mouth. Okay, so then from there, before I forget, let's come up here and draw his eyebrows. So um, right on top of his eye, I'm just going to draw a slight arc. And we're going to thicken the eyebrows, bring up a curve. And about right here, you can zigzag if you like and connect it. Give him bushy eyebrows. So same thing on this side. And thicken it. Okay, so then from there, let's start to work on his face and his beard. So kind of where his glasses are, where his eyes are in this area right here, I'm going to start and bring down a line. So same thing on this side, right next to the glasses. And then we're going to start to bring this down. Kind of like a sharpen out um, U towards the bottom. And before I go any further, I'm going to, let's see, bring this down more now that I know where to go. And so continuing this curve, this is where his beard is. We're just going to come out. And from there, we're just going to draw a curve to frame his face. So just remember, it's this curve that you created about right there. And up. Then let's finish the um, beard now. So I'm going to bring this towards the center. And 
and connect. And then right here at the bottom, I'm just going to draw a little band where his beard ties up and then the bottom portion. So curve and connect. And then he has this little tassel thing that ties it up. So I'm just going to come right here, draw two of those circles. And then from there, let's bring this up. So we're going to keep going up for his face now. Just go straight up past his eyebrows. And from there, we're going to draw a curve right above his eyebrows to connect. And then let's go up. So right here, we're going to start his hat. We're going to round this part off. And go up. So the first part of his hat is about right here and we're going to connect it. And then the top part right here, come in a little bit. I'm just going to give it a slight slant. So this part's going to be a little bit higher and connect. From there, let's draw the tassel right here on top of his hat. So come right here and I'm just going to curve down to this area and just go wobble my way across and just draw in some lines. Okay, so we have the tassels in now. So then let's, um, oh, before. <laughs> Let's finish his beard right here. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more so it's not so stiff. Get a little bit more curve. Okay, there. Then now let's start to draw his robe. So we're going to come um, kind of right here where his beard is right in this area. We're going to draw a curve. Come right across on the other side. And that's where we're going to start his shoulders, his body. And then from there, I'm going to imagine his shoulders are here. So his armpits would be about right here and here. So I'm just going to give myself two points. So then from there, um, well, you know what? Let's come here. I'm just going to draw a slight angle line. A little bit easier to see what we're working with. Then from there, let's come into this area right here where you created this curve. Bring it down a little bit more. And we're going to draw the collar part of his robe. So I'm going to bring this down towards the center. And same thing over here, towards the center, right under his beard. And then let's come in here and break it up. Another curve right in here. So whatever space you have left, you can draw some to finish up off a line if you need to. And I'm just going to bring this in, whatever space I have left. And then let's bring this rope down. Just flare it out slightly. And then in this area right here, we're going to connect it with a curve to break up his robe. And then just keep bringing this down. Before I go further down with the robe, let's come up and draw his arm so we can kind of figure out how far to bring the robe down. So let's let's start on this side since this side is a little bit, little bit more easier. So we're going to just bring oh, right here, come in, bring down a line and then in this area you can just kind of bring in a curve to tuck it in and I'm just going to flare this out. So pass this away, so about right there. I'm going to come in here and bring a curve down. And then in this area, I'm going to come in and draw his hands. So it's just a thumb that comes in and the fingers. So curve and angle. And then right here, just finish off the row, the sleeve, with another curve. So then on this side, it's going to be about right here, so where his armpit area is, come out. We're going to flare out a sleeve. So his, it's going to be about right here. 
Okay, so about right there, I'm going to stop, bring in the curve just like the other side, and connect back up. Then from there in this area, I'm going to draw his hand. He's holding a wand, so come out here, draw a thumb. And then in this area right here, curve for his fingers, another curve. hands and then we're going to tuck in here his wand so come in here a little handle and wobble his wand in there and then you can finish off his hand right here and then in this area let's just finish off his robe the sleeve and bring it in so now we can go ahead and finish his robe. So let's keep bringing this down, flaring it out as you go, and a little bit more. So about right there. I'll stop. And then I'm going to, let's come to the center right here. And we draw two angle lines out from the center. So then from here, I'm going to go ahead and connect this at a curve. And then in the center right here, I'm just going to wobble a little bit. There. Okay. So then when you're coloring it, there's all this detail if you want to <laughs> put it in his robe. But if not, just like a very pale purplish gray for his robe. And then last but not least, of course, we gotta finish his hair, right? So in this area where his hat is, you have this little area in this corner right here. Let's come out. And we're just gonna wiggle the curve down. Create more of a space for his hair to come out of. So about right there. Same thing and just go and tuck it in. And then um, that's pretty much it <laughs> from this Draw So Cute uh, Dumbledore from Harry Potter. Hope you love how it turned out and I've inspired you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.